Hey guys, I'm Lauren Stone from Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and today I'm back for another spontaneous toy review with a way cooler backdrop. This is my dining room. <laughs> this is my dining room, this is how I exist. So we have cabinets over meow, and I have artwork over meow. Um, so for today's spontaneous toy review, this is such a cool product. I had no idea this one was even coming, and it is the... Look, it's a Power Rangers Megazord letter opener, and this is a GameStop exclusive. Um, this thing, I feel, and I'm sure other people may be like, oh, they announced it 10 years ago, whatever, you're behind. But I feel like this one came out of nowhere. Um, so these letter openers um, have appeared uh, at... GameStop. There was a Zelda one that they, that's what they told me about. Um, they said that there was a link where basically his sword is the letter opener and it was like in the Triforce Rock. Um, and then we have this one and there's one more from the franchise I don't remember. What's cool about this one, this one, this one fooled us a little bit, a few of us. Um, you have the new logo. It says Saban's Power Rangers, of course, down here on the base of the Megazord. And we're going to open this. I am going to open this. Um, I went back and forth for a while, but I decided that it was going to happen. We're going to open this. Um, of course, you have the old school 90s Saban logo down here. And then you turn it around, and on the back you see that it is, in fact, Hasbro. So this is a new Hasbro product. Uh, a lot of us know, see the cool, the Hasbro on the side, on the spine, they have this, this shtick going on with this sort of artwork. So um, what we have happening here is... So um, Think Geek, or I'm sorry, GameStop owns Think Geek, to my understanding. That's the order, right? The, um, GameStop owns Think Geek. So you're going to have these sort of office-y, non-toy supplies that pop up, uh, which might be why there was no press release or announcement for this product when they were announcing all the other Megazords and when they were announcing the uh, role-playing products and the Lightning Collection and all those other toys that we talk about. This, I mean... <laughs> I, I was discussing recently in regard to Macross ships that, you know, if in my ideal beautiful office, I would have my mahogany desk, my like classy liquor and my Macross ship instead of some, you know, um, old school wooden ship. So same thing here. This is my letter opener. <laughs> this is somebody walks into my, you know, come into the toy wizard, come into the toy wizard office and there's Megazord letter openers. So I'm going to open this because I'm curious. Okay, but if it's heavy, I don't want it. I'm on my, this is my dining room table. I don't want it to fall if it's heavy. All right. So it comes in these. All right. This is a heavy sword. This isn't messing around. This is like, I wish all the toys came with swords of this caliber. And this thing had an MSRP of $40. This was a $39.99 item. And what's funny about this, I saw somebody online, heavy, beautiful. What is this made of? This is amazing. It doesn't move at all. Oh, it's like porcelain, not porcelain. No, um, what's the other one? What are, maybe it is porcelain. What dishes are made out? It feels like a plate. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lawrence Down. I review toys and it feels like a plate. No, um, so then you, it, does it hold it? Yeah, there we go. There we are. Yeah, get that lightning right there. This is amazing. So when I saw online that, the, that these were popping up in GameStops, I rushed right over to GameStop and I asked them about it. There were two employees. They're very nice. One of them had no idea what I was talking about. And the other one um, was like, oh my God, if that thing comes in, it's mine. And I'm like, all right, we're, we're going to have a fight, aren't we? <laughs> so she, they looked in their system and they found that there was one on the way um, being delivered soon. So that was all the information they can give me. That was Thursday, Friday night. That was Friday night. And I went over yesterday, Monday morning, 10 a.m. And I was going to ask, you know, questions. I was going to dig up the skew. I was going to ask them to look in the back. And it was on top. Like, there's a top shelf at my GameStop that has, like, the um, the morphers and the coins and the um, proplica daggers and stuff like that. And it was just sitting there on top of a morphing coin proplica thing. They're just waiting for me. <laughs> 
and that's when they like I'm, so, I'm the worst collectors and adrenaline the collectors and adrenaline kicks in and I was just like there's two people in front of me and there's a guy behind me and if any of them are after this thing I have my eyes on now we're gonna have a problem but there was no problem there was no problem the people in front of me were trading in the system and the guy behind me had a pre-order so there was no problem um, this is absolutely amazing um, I like the paint on it a little dinky toward the bottom of the of the um, the saber-toothed tiger but overall I mean this is a statue this is oh man you know like you know those birthday parties where you go and paint things this is like 90s kid dream birthday party but no the uh, this is is that a sticker I think this is a sticker yeah these are stickers and they're kind of peely they're a little peely guys Hasbro come on guys what happened here I feel like this is one of those items that they were like planning mid Saban mid Hasbro and there's like no you take it like I don't want it on my I don't know just you take it no you take it so that's why we have like all the logos all over it um pretty good though there this is not a bad item um I Typically try to, you know, save the $40 for interesting or strange items, super rare, super old, vintage. I mean, of course, you're going to find, like, vintage Megazords in the 200s. You know, that's another story. That's not what we're talking about today. Um, but because those of you who know me and know how I collect know that I'm such a big Megazord collector and they just don't come out often enough, like, I will buy anything in any capacity that is a Megazord. Oh, chip paint right there. Guys, Freaking come on. So what do I think of this? I think the product is amazing. The sword is fantastic. It looks awesome. I am definitely going to display this. Um, I, I'll keep the box. I don't think I'm going to put it back in the box. Um, I got to be careful with this. It is very breakable. This thing will shatter if it falls. Um, the paint job is a little wonky. It seems a little rushed. I don't know why there's not more of them at GameStop. It's an exclusive. So I don't even know if this, this might be a problem. but. I have one. <laughs> Lady baby doesn't care. No, I'm so happy. This is really, really cool. This is a really unique product. And I'm really stoked to have it. So there we go. That is my spontaneous toy review of the new um, Hasbro Power Rangers Mighty Morphin Megazord letter opener. Um, art statue, toy, functional, non-functional office piece, mine. Doesn't really matter. It's just super cool looking. So thank you guys again. Enjoy what's on the site today. Enjoy um, what's, what we're doing on toy-wizard.com for the rest of the week. Be good. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun. Be safe. And we will catch you soon with more content. All right? Bye, guys.